Hey dudes, I'm Hyla, and today on Hyla Cooking, we are making a cheesy broccoli casserole with broccoli and cheese sauce. This is perhaps one of the most famous recipes ever invented by some old white lady. <music> All right, for the broccoli part of our broccoli casserole, I've got about a pound of broccoli here. That's like a, one small bunch or half of a big bunch that I've cut into like sort of bite size pieces, whatever. Uh, if you wanted to use some frozen broccoli, that's totally fine. But I just put a little bit of water in this pan and stuck it in the microwave for like three minutes just to get them a little bit uh, steamed, like a little bit starting to cook. And so that's good. And I'm going to make uh, this sauce, the cheese sauce. So this is a... I guess it's technically a Mornay sauce. Not to be confused with a Mornay eel. Just kidding, I know it's Mornay, guys. So we're gonna start with making a roux, which is just the butter and flour mixture. That's gonna thicken it up. I've done this a million times. If you ever made gravy, you've made a roux. So get your butter melted. And then we're gonna add uh, flour. This is just regular old flour. And I've got it over medium heat, and you just want to whisk it. We're basically, we're just cooking this flour to get rid of the raw flour taste of it. And you want to cook it until it's a nice, nutty, golden brown. And it will start to actually smell a little bit toasty too, but just keep stirring it so it doesn't burn. It smells a little bit like toast. That's good. Okay, then I've got some milk here. I'm going to start pouring this in and whisking the whole time. And I like to add a little bit and make sure it's really, really well mixed. And then add a little more. Okay, we're gonna let this cook until it starts to thicken up a little bit. So this first part, we're making a bechamel and that's just like the milk-based uh, roux thickened sauce. And then when we add the cheese to it, then it becomes a Mornay. So kind of teaching you guys two sauces in one. So you're welcome. Gonna start thickening up here. All right, you can add the rest of that. And now I'm gonna turn it down to low so it can hang out while I add some seasoning. So I'm gonna add some salt, cause duh. The amount of salt depends a little bit on the kind of cheese that you use. The saltier cheese, you obviously need to add less salt. A little bit of pepper. And, a little bit of nutmeg. So. so now I've just got this over like a medium low heat and you just wanna keep whisking it for a couple minutes until it gets a little bit thickened. Okay, so it's a little thick now. It's about like a cream gravy or something. And actually if I hadn't put nutmeg in it, you could totally serve this over biscuits. So that's great. Now I'm gonna add in my cheese. I've got the heat off. And I'm using a sharp cheddar mixed with some Parmesan. Traditionally, a Mornay sauce would be like a Gruyere in Parmesan, I think. You can really use any kind of cheese you want. I really like sharp cheddar with broccoli, but Gruyere would be great, uh, Swiss cheese, Gouda, things of that nature. So there, we've got a great cheesy sauce. But wait, there's more. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of sour cream because nothing says this reminds me of my grandma, like a big old spoonful of sour cream stuck in something. It adds a little bit of tanginess too, so that's actually really nice. Okay, our sauce is done. So, do a switcheroo there, and we're just gonna pour the sauce over the broccoli as you might have guessed. So much better than like a can of condensed cheddar soup, right guys? Making it from scratch. So just try to get it evenly. And this will probably serve like six people if you wanted to, maybe more if you have a whole bunch of stuff on your feasting table. Um, but you could easily double the recipe too and then put it in a bigger pan. And then we're gonna top it with the rest of our cheese that I held out, so just like a quarter cup or something. A little bit on the top. Ooh, you know what else sometimes I do, I meant to tell you about it earlier, is add like a quarter teaspoon of curry powder to the sauce whenever you add the salt and pepper and the nutmeg. And that adds a really nice um, little like, hmm, what is this delicious casserole kind of thing. 
kind of effect, but I forgot. Okay. And then I've got some ritzy crackers because it's fancy holiday times and just crumble them up and throw them on top. It's another grandma thing. Maybe a couple more. <laughs> I mean, what the hell? They are reduced fat, right? Tell it to my butt. Yay. All right. So now I'm just going to put this in the oven 350 for, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes till it's nice and bubbly and the broccoli's all cooked. Okay. All right, there you have it. A cheesy broccoli cheese casserole, everyone. Let's get a little bite. Oh, that one looks perfect. Oh, yeah. All right, well, if you like this recipe, please check out my green chili mac and cheese recipe for another cheesy, delicious side dish. And also, uh, chicken pot pie is a great thing to use leftover turkey in. You can make a turkey pot pie. That's what it's called then, guys. All right, well, thank you for subscribing. Make sure you do that so that you get notified whenever I release a new video. And also, come see me at highlycooking.com for printable recipes and the answers to all of your culinary questions. Well, most of them are. This is the dance that I do when I eat a cheesy broccoli casserole. I need to work on a song, but thank you for watching. See you guys next time, and have a wonderful day. Bye.